Oke, okay, it will go live now. Oke. Okay. Ya, yeah, we can see. All good, all streaming to YouTube. Oh, we, ya, yeah, oke. Okay. Oke. Okay. Okay. Can you see my screen? Yes, we can see your screen but still not full screen. It's still like a presentation. Okay. How about now? Yes, all perfect. Thank you. We live now? Yes, we live on YouTube, streaming on Fitloop. Everything is ready for you. Please go ahead. Okay, and also on ESPN Live. Um, welcome, everybody. Uh, good afternoon, good morning, good evening. We are in the annual award ceremony of the SPWLA, this um, 62nd annual symposium. I want to welcome everybody to attend. I appreciate your your sponsorship to the SPWLA. And I'm honored to be here as past president, as you know, I finished my term last year. And this year, it was my turn to uh, find out who were going to be the next uh, award winner. So thank you very much for being here. I know that it's been a, a very hard year, probably on the understatement. And we're getting a bit tired of these uh, webinars and online meetings. People say it's going to be the future, but I have my doubts. People really enjoy human uh, contact, uh, the awareness to be around people, networking. So, so I'm so looking forward to go back to, to normal or some kind of normal where we can shake hands and kiss people and hug them and have a meaningful conversation so hopefully everyone is staying healthy and getting their vaccine it's a privilege right now and if you have that privilege go get it and so we can get back to normal uh, the spwla is an organization that does not discriminate uh, for any kind of uh, of uh, issues like age, race, religion, gender, sexual orientation, or geographical origin. And you're going to see how we've done a great effort to recruit a board and volunteers from all over the place, all over the world, and from different origins and genders, etc. Before we start with the ceremony, I want to acknowledge all the people involved in this process which are the membership. Membership, especially authors and symposium delegates, we are here that they make this symposium possible because there's no paper, there's no symposium. And the delegates who come and attend that uh, support the SPWLA grow and uh, knowledge share. And then I want to thank the nomination committee for the elections and the award committees uh, for these awards. Uh, they made this possible. And the technology committee, especially <clears throat> Tewin Perkins and his amazing technology committee, and all the workshop uh, presenters and, and sponsors, everyone. And the organizing committee, Paul Craddock and his army of volunteers have done an outstanding job. Uh, the Boston chapter. So we all, we all wish that we were in New England right now, uh, enjoying some New England chowder. But yeah, we are here from this Houston apartment in a, in a very dark afternoon, but maybe we're getting something of the Boston weather, you know, because it's rainy and, and and dark here in Houston. And finally, uh, last but not least, the SPWLA staff of Sharon and Stephanie who all, all, always do uh, an outstanding job. I want to thank the outgoing board. Uh, many of them were my colleagues in, when I was president of BP Technology and they've done a great job. So we are the generation that didn't enjoy the perks that come with the board, like traveling much because of obvious reasons. 
So I got to experience just a little bit of that, but then we've been at home. And I, I thank you all for being troopers and being helping there and, you know, supporting the chapter. Thank you very much. Thank you, Jean, for a great job during your tenure. And the gavel has been passed from uh, Jean to Caterina. So happy to see one of the biggest volunteers of this organization as Caterina has been for more than 10 years. So looking forward to your turn. And I can tell you that Jean accepted that she is the new president. And I want to welcome the new board. Uh, the amazing thing that Caterina has been, uh, is going to be working with. I, I dare to say that it is probably the most diverse uh, board I've ever seen, at least, when, where you have people from all over the place. And only one, fun fact, only one is U.S. born. A lot of them are based in the U.S., but only one uh, is a U.S. born. You can not uh, text me. Uh, or post on LinkedIn to guess who is that person. Uh, that person is very quiet in general, but you get, you will guess it. And I want to see, happy to see people coming back to the board to help, and I'm happy to see really new faces on the board. And and we are getting close to gender equality on the on, on the board. So that's great, great to see. So now we're gonna open the awards and, and we're gonna start first with awards that are given pretty much directly by the board. And I'm gonna pass the mic to Tewin uh, Perkin to go through the VP Technology and Publications Awards. Tewin, you got it. Right, thank you very much, uh, Jesus. Um, I, how, many, how long do I have? About four minutes, I think, to go through this. Yeah. A minute per slide. OK. Well, first of all, welcome to the 2020 Symposium uh, Paper Awards. Uh, I'd like to thank uh, Michael O'Keefe, of course, uh, who was the reigning VP technology uh, for this particular conference. So uh, thank you for him and all his hard, diligent work. Um, moving on with the listings, uh, Dr. Mayank Malik was the award winner for the best symposium paper for 2020, maximizing value from mudlogs integrated approach to determine net pay. And his co-authors were Scott Hansen and Simon Clinch. Um, I don't believe uh, Dr. Mayank is with us today, is he? So I can't uh, hand them the paper award to him directly. Um, is there anybody here to accept on his behalf? No, um, I, I guess I didn't make this clear. So for several of these awards, there won't be any, I mean, acceptance, a speech or anything like that. Oh, okay. We will only have a speeches for the awards that I will announce that were selected by the committee. No problem. Then I will move quickly on to the next one, which was the runner-up uh, to the uh, best symposium paper for 2020. Uh, the uh, the presenter of that was Jeffrey Miles, Dr. Jeffrey Miles, and his uh, co-authors were Laurel Moose and Jim Grau. Uh, formation chlorine measurement from spectroscopy enables water salinity interpretation theory modeling and applications, something of a mouthful. Uh, but thank you again for your uh, your runner up there. And well, that name's gonna come up again shortly if we switch over to the third slide, please. Right, outstanding papers from the journal Petrophysics for the year. Uh, we have five awards this year uh, for this, and I will list these off for you. A history of nuclear spectroscopy in well logging by Richard Pemper. Uh, Self-compensated pulse neutron spectroscopy. My God, I can't say that word today. <laughs> spectroscopy measurements. Uh, Tony Zhao uh, and co-authors Dave Rose, Jeffrey Miles again, Jason Gender, Heijing Wang, and Michael Sullivan. That word is keep coming up again. Formation chlorine measurement from spectroscopy enables water salinity interpretation, theory modeling, and applications. Uh, again, Jeffrey, Mal Jeffrey Miles. Laura Moose and Jim Grau. Um, this is turning into the Jeffrey Miles show, I believe. Um, next paper on the list is by Rebecca Stokes, Elton Yang, Prince Zubio, and Timothy Feischer. 
a new CEC measurement proxy using high frequency dielectric analysis of crushed rock. And the fifth one on this list, classification of adsorption isotherm curves for shell based on pore structure. Yang Yang Tian, uh, Quin Chen, Chang Hu Yang, Hei Sheng Deng, and Yang King He. Apologies for butchering many names in that list. And this is a, a new option for um, or a new award for, uh, for this year. This is uh, for outstanding reviewers. We have a number of, outst of reviewers who do an amazing job and we wouldn't have such a quality journal in petrophysics if it wasn't for these people. Uh, but for recognition throughout the year, Mark Bowers with Exxon, Mao Lin Lu from Aramco and Igor C from Chevron. What an amazing award, uh, what amazing work you've done this year. And we thank you. I think that's it, uh, Jesus, on the list. Now, uh, Katerina is going to go through the chapter awards. Yes, so it is my privilege to announce the winner of the professional outstanding chapter, which is the Boston chapter, with pretty obvious reasons. After this, uh, uh, you know, after the year that we've been hit, uh, obviously this has been a challenge, but they were, the, uh, they took on the challenge and ran with it with, like no other. And I'm very, very glad of the outcome. I'm very, very proud of the outcome too. I feel like I'm part of the Boston chapter too as well. I think everybody is feeling the same right now. So congratulations to the Boston chapter. And the next one is for a student chapter. The student chapter is for the Colombian SPWA UEIS student chapter, Universidad Industrial de Santander. They have been present in the International Student Paper Contest for the last two years, but overall they have, they have been one of the biggest uh, evolutionized student chapters in, in a matter of three years. They organized themselves and really stood up to the challenge during the pandemic. They organized Petro Weeks, they organized uh, more webinars than any uh, Latin American chapter in general. And that dynamics has to be rewarded. And we're very, very glad to award the uh, UIS student chapter with this uh, honorable award. So congratulations to all the chapters. Congratulations indeed, they've done an amazing job. So now we're gonna move to the VP Education Awards by VP uh, Education Francisca Guanajuan. Thank you, Jesus. I have given a task, a little bit a mission impossible to complete everything in five minutes. So if I a little bit fly when I men uh, mention about all of this, um, I'm really sorry, but here we go. We conducted the International Student Paper Contest on Sunday. We have 15 contestant, contestant from Latin America, from USA, and from, hold on, Jesus, I'm not that fly. <laughs> I will, uh, yeah, I will let you know whenever I, I change the slide. Um, from Latin America as well, from Pakistan and Indonesia. So we, can we change the slide? Yes, we would like to special thanks to all the judges that have put their effort since the abstract until the last Sunday. Thank you for having us be part in your Sunday. Thank you so much. So let's move. We have three first winner for each category. The first one will get $1,200. Second one will be $800. And the third one will be $600. And thank you for all the BOD that approved this money as well as all the members that giving us a lot of support. So let's do that. The third winner for Bachelor will be Luis Alberto Chinomes from Colombia. Congratulations to you. And the second one will be Luis, another Luis Miguel Salas Chia. So both from UIS. Congratulations, UIS. The second one will be from Indonesia. Teddy Van Sujana, Aaron Tungo, and Trat Pratama. They are doing a very fantastic job. They're explaining very well. We're really impressed with them. Congratulations. Let's go to the master. The third one will be Juan Camilo Acosta from OU. Congratulations. Second one will be Asiman from University Louisiana Lafayette. And Adam, this is for you. Who is number one? Yes, Judah Oidaichi. So he's from OU. So congratulations for all our winners. 
and move to doctorates. The third place is Felipe Cruz from OU. Congratulations. The second one will be Eduardo Maldo Maldonado Cruz. Another yes, family I believe. No, from UT Austin. So congratulations. And the first one will be yes, Sidi Mamodu. So yeah, congratulations for all the finalists, for all the winners. You are doing fantastic job. I can invite everyone to make a round of applause to our students. So I'm really proud of you. And this is live in YouTube. So yeah, congratulations to everyone. I'm really proud of you and hope to have to see many participants in next year. And again, let's move to the um, SPWL Distinguished Speakers. Yes, the first one, I would like to thank you for Dario Reolon. Thank you so much for all your effort on, on representing about your paper, Unlocking Data Analytics for the Automatic Inflation of Cement Bone Lock. Thank you so much for that. Second one, I would like to go fly with Eric Willemaker. Thank you so much, Eric, for presenting. I know that you did a lot of, of present, presentation for, for Boston, for Houston. Thank you so much for that. The third one will be... Thank you so much for you, Su Siang Mark Wu. We call it by Mark. So he presents on his paper on the triaxial co-located antenna sensors. He's from Halliburton. So yeah, congratulations. The fourth one will be from Slumberzee, Jeffrey Miles, formation chlorine. Yeah, I think this is really Jeffrey Miles Day. Measurement from spectroscopy enabled water solid interpretation. Thank you so much for all your service, Jeffrey Miles. Julie Cowan. Thank you so much for all your hard work on conclusive proof of weak bedding planes in the Marcellus shale. So thank you for that. The next one, Matt Blin. Thank you so much for all your hard effort to share your work through revealing hidden information, high resolution logging while drilling slowness, measurement and imaging using advanced dual ultrasonic technology. Yeah, the next one is Mei Yang, our best paper. Um, recipient so he is also part of the distinguished speaker thank you so much mayang even though you're not here but yeah if you can see youtube you're there thank you the next one will be nikita selefness he's also doing a pretty good and hard work on sharing his work determining water filled porosity of tight oil reservoir with a new interpretation method for the electric dispersion measurement so thank you nikita yeah, Peter's list, thank you so much for sharing your work on identifying fracture filling material in oil based mud with the electric borehole imaging. We really appreciate your work on this. Ronaldo Herlinger Jr., thank you for all your um, sharing effort for all the SPWM members on petrological and petrophysical implication on magnetic clays in Brazilian pre salt deposits. Ting Li, thank you, Ting Li. For, for sharing your work as well, formation evolution with NMR, resistivity, pressure data, and he is from Chevron. Yeah, for anyone that I miss you're working for, I'm really sorry. I really fly here because Jesus keep looking at me. Yeah, and Tong Zhu, uh, thank you so much. He is, he was a principal tool physics for Slumberjay, and his paper is about self-compensated case whole pulse neutron spectroscopy measurement. So thank you so much for all your effort. And we move to the global distinguished speaker. The first one will be, yeah, Alberto Cesar Ortiz. So he started the global distinguished speaker like three years back. So that time his title actually the last five years of unconventional. And right now we move to become seven years. So yeah, how dedicated he is. Thank you so much. He is now independent consultant. Um, Ali Tini is a faculty in the Petroleum Engineering Department of University of Oklahoma. And thank you so much for sharing electrical properties of Shell with us. The next one, yes, Julian Julia. Thank you, Julian, for all your hard work uh, in many chapters from homogeneous to heterogeneous, rock understanding, fundamental controls of hydrocarbon saturation. And he's working for Shell. Thank you so much. The next one. Muhammad Ebb Gibrata, thank you so much for sharing your work on integrated petrophysical evaluation for reservoir characterization and modeling in field development. He is working as a senior petrophysicist for Dragon Oil. Thank you so much. Pablo Sandung Garay, I hope I pronounce your name well. Thank you so much for um, sharing all your work um, for case hole formation evaluations, an alternative to optimize data acquisitions and reduce overall cost in metro field. He's working for Slumberzee. Thank you so much. 
Yes, the very most award person, Paul Kredok. Thank you so much. You are everywhere, but we really appreciate that. So thank you so much for um, staying with us to, to spreading about the thermal matu maturity adjusted lock interpretation in organic shell. Just working for Slumbersy. And Luis Quintero, thank you so much for, for sharing all your work for reservoir pressure in tight gas formation from a pressurized core system. So we do appreciate it, um, all your hard work, and we would like to, yeah, appreciate that. And the last one is Steve Cuddy. He also share simple of confusing water saturation versus height function for reservoir modeling. And right now he's a retired petrophysicist. Well, again, thank you so much for all the distinguished speaker and global distinguished speaker. Without you, we really nothing. Thank you so much for all your effort in the morning, in the evening, in the night. Thank you so much. So I pass to yeah, President. I hope it's five minutes. I don't think so, but yeah, thank you. You did great, amazing. Oh, um, yeah, Very thank well. you. <laughs> thank you. Um, so it's my turn to talk about awards. And before that, I want to really thank, thank you, my technology, my awards committee, Carlos Torres Berding, Chris Eskel, Chris Arns, Jeff Page, Heijin Wang, Luchi, Luis Quintero, Margaret Lessinger, Mary Van Steen, Queen Pasis, Ichinichi Sakurai, Tewin Pakers, Perkins, and Taimar Ramirez. So it's a the looks committee with who's who in the SPWLA, most of them, like almost 95% of them have received awards. So they've been around for a while. So they, I hope you like the job they did, commanded by their chairman, Jesus Salazar. Um, we had a lot of fun doing this, but uh, we also have recommendation for future uh, process of selection because it's, 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 uh, it's not a flawless process but we did our best. The thing is we get busy and then we say that we're going to document the feedback and sometimes we just either forget or don't have time. But I'll, I'll do my best to get that documentation to Gene for next year and years to come. So one of the things I want to say is that <clears throat> even though there used to be a website for awards, it was a bit cumbersome in the old SP, in the SPWLA website. So I talked to Tewin Perkins and I asked him to build something in SPW Word, more streamlined, easier to use. So he did it and we got it working. So 100% of the nominations were done online, very well stored in the system and simplify. So there will be judges with only look at this simple form and there will be others we would look to all the documentation. So we made it easier for the for the committee members to just read that very simple application. And if they knew the person, you don't need to read all the credentials, but sometimes you need to read the credentials. We're gonna start with the Young Professional Technical Award. And that goes to Dr. Juan Ye Chen. She works for ExxonMobil. She did her PhD at Texas A&M University. And you can read the, her full bio in, in, the, in the email that uh, was sent yesterday on the symposium website. And uh, Juan Ye, you can say a few words Yes, thank you. <laughs> I think the picture might be long, it's not me. <laughs> yeah. Uh, hello, everyone. And um, I'm Huang Yechen, a petrophysicist in ExxonMobil. And it's really hard for me to put this feeling into words. I'm thrilled to express my words into speech on such a momentous occasion of my life. It's a great honor for me to receive the Young Professional Technical Award. I feel very grateful to SPWLA to give the recognition to my work. Um, since I joined the petroleum industry, I have engaged in different projects around the world and gained the broad experience in both theoretical and the practical petrophysical applications. My seniors is a great pinner behind my achievements. 
They play a significant role in my skill and career development. Their training and the knowledge in different stages of my career are hugely influential. Therefore, I want to take this opportunity and to thank all of my former mentor colleagues in Aramco and my supervisor mentors and colleagues in ExxonMobil. I also would like to express my special gratefulness to my PhD advisor, Dr. Joya Hadari, who brought me into the petrophysics field, supervised me to complete many high quality research work and encouraged me to pursue my career in petroleum industry. I want to dedicate this award to all of them with their encouragement, suggestion, and the guidance, which helped me reach many milestones. Without those, I wouldn't have been awarded today. This award will be an essential part of my life. It will motivate me to continue to do the high quality work and the research in the petroleum industry. At last, I want to wish all the happiness, joy, and the success in life. Thank you very much. Thank you. Perfect timing. Remember, this is like the Oscars, okay? Yes. Just quick, quick. <laughs> <laughs> now the next uh, word is uh, to Dr. Paul Craddock. So he's also a very popular, my, um, popular man in this event. So I, I want to thank him for all the effort he has done to, um, in the SPWLA symposium. Uh, he's a researcher at the Schlumberger Doll in Cambridge, Massachusetts. And Paul, if you are here, please say a few words. Hey, everyone. I have just two remarks. So first, uh, this community is very important to me. Uh, thank you for supporting my career, SPWLA. And in return, it's my pleasure to support you and, and the mission of the society. And then uh, second, uh, I think the smarter thing that I've ever done at Schlumberger is to collaborate with a fantastic group of, of talented and supportive scientists. So this reward uh, recognizes their contributions, in particular those from Ju Promerance, who hired me into Schlumberger, Lalitha Venkataraman, and Jeff Miles, Laurent Mose, and, and David Rose. Those in particular have been uh, instrumental in, in in, in my career development. So thank you to them. And uh, finally, um, it's always a pleasure to collaborate with operators, uh, uh, three in particular, YPF, AKBP, and Continental Resources through Adam Hacker uh, have always been uh, generous uh, in, in sharing their data with me and uh, allowing me to collaborate with them. So thank you. Good job, Paul. Next award goes to Dr. Bean Dai. He works for Halliburton. Um, uh, is, is Bean Dai here? Yes, he is. You can say a few words. Hello, can you hear me okay? Perfect. Well, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, everyone. Well, thank you for this opportunity. I'm extremely humble and honored to be recognized by SBWA for some of my work and some service what I did for the SPWA. Uh, I'm also very uh, earnestly grateful for this recognition uh, because I believe there are many young professional, men and women who have been advanced this uh, industry to their technical contribution and the service could be nominated for this award. And many of them are as qualified, if not better than me uh, for getting uh, this award. So I really appreciate uh, my colleague, my mentor, uh, who nominate me for this award, and then SBAWA committee who allow this to happen. Uh, I also want to take this opportunity to uh, thank SBWA for providing a great platform and education opportunity for me. Uh, about eight, seven, eight years ago, I come from uh, non-oil gas industry with a zero background in petrophysics. Um, so it's SPWA, there are many events, uh, like a conference like this week, a spring topical conference, many special interesting group meeting, uh, distinguished lecture series. Through this kind of many event activity, I'm able to learn a lot from the domain expert 
and also to able to build a connection with many uh, professionals in this field. Uh, so I really appreciate the Speedway for giving this opportunity. And I hope that once that uh, this pandemic pass, really got a chance to meet a lot of my friends and really get together. All right, thank you. Thank you. Um, and I want to mention that we're barely, we're barely catching up with this award because it's uh, the second year we we're giving it. So there's a lot of great young professionals there that need to be recognized. So. Absolutely. <laughs> The next award is Meritorious Service Award. Uh, I, I'm very happy to have my friend, colleagues and countrymen, um, uh, Javier Miranda. He, he's a very deserving person of this award. Javier has been selflessly uh, volunteering for the SPWLA in all fronts, not only here in the Houston chapter and in the symposium, but also in Venezuela in Austin and back again here in Houston. So congratulations, Javier. You can say a few words. Well, can you hear me okay? Not very okay. If you can speak louder, maybe that's help, Javier. Just yeah. Make yeah. It louder. How, how about now? Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. So hello, everyone. I feel truly honored to be here today receiving this award. Those of you who know me well know that I'm a volunteer. As Jesus mentioned, I'm always willing to give my best to the SPWLA and good causes. SPWLA occupies a special place in my heart, and I always want to give back to the society. Some of what I have received since becoming a petrophysicist and SPWLA member two decades ago. I also want to congratulate my fellow awardees for their success and contributions to our society. Some of them were and still are my reference as a student and professional. Others were my classmates, co-workers, or teammates in SPWLA initiatives. So I'm very happy to see them here. I also want to thank all SPWLA members for this award, especially my Houston chapter team for their support and contributions all at Boston chapter for making me feel part of the group, past and current SPWLA international board members for their encourage and support, especially past presidents, Jesus Salazar, Paimar Ramirez, Luis Quintero, and David Kennedy, President Caterina Yare, President-elect David Perkins, and VP Technology, Carlos Torres Berlin. They all pushed me to new boundaries and to be more involved. Finally, I want to thank my family, friends, colleagues, co-workers, professors, and supervisors, my current employer, uh, DNM, and past employers for their support to my involvement in SPWLA. Thank you. Thank you, Javier. Next awardee is Michael O'Keefe, the past uh, VP technology. Uh, he did an outstanding job last year managing the first ever online symposium from a major society. So congratulations, Michael. Thank you very much, XL Presidente. Uh, for those of you who don't recognize me, it's probably because I've just had my vaccine. Uh, and not only the vaccine, actually, I've fulfilled a year long pledge to finally shave off that ridiculous lockdown beard that I sported at last conference. And I'm a better man for it. Uh, when COVID hit last year, we were caught in the middle. At first, there was a lot of uncertainty, uh, denial, and, um, and anger at uh, missing out on visiting Banff. Uh, you might recognize, recognize these are the three stages of grief. Uh, but we pulled ourselves together and actually became the first major oil and gas uh, society to hold an online conference, which uh, was, uh, I was very proud of. Uh, this year, they've obviously evolved, and uh, I, I can only congratulate the uh, uh, technical team and Tegwin for the work they've done, the space they've put this 60-second uh, uh, annual symposium into. It's brilliant. Uh, in humbly accepting this award, I'd like to uh, firstly thank the London Petrophysical Society, who I've been a member for many years and uh, president for two. It was during... Uh, that time that we uh, won the bid to host the London Symposium. And this really kicked off my enthusiasm for the society in a personal way uh, 
that I, that I feel is very important. And I hope we get back uh, next year to these uh, personalized symposiums. And finally, thank you to my company Schlumberger for supporting me and allowing time to focus on the tasks at hand. I very much appreciate it. The next person is somebody I'm really happy to see her here uh, getting a meritorious service award is Tui Rock. She's retired from Anadarko, Pioneer and several others. Uh, I know Tui for many years since she came recruiting a student at UT Austin and we have awesome time. So, and she's been a true volunteer for the SPWLA for many years. So Tui, congrats. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Well, first of all, thank you SVWLA for this honor and recognition. I especially want to thank uh, Carlos Torres Verdi for his efforts on my behalf on this award and for his many years of friendship and collaboration during the times that we we're trying to advocate and promote young talent. Um, I consider service to our society and to our industry a privilege and a duty, both in fostering a community for technical exchange and learnings, but more importantly, is to advocate and develop the next generation of petrophysicists. So with that mission in mind, I feel that my most meaningful and impactful achievement really has been the cultivation and career development of the young and diverse talent in, in our society. So it is very heartwarming to see so many of these young professionals that I've mentored over the years being very active in SBWLA, serving as officers and board members, and many of them being recognized with awards such as the ones that we are highlighting today. Congratulations, Zoya. She's one of my former protege. And so I'm happy to report that even in retirement, I continue to advocate and mentor many of um, these young professionals. And it's, as retirees, it's definitely one of the most rewarding things that I um, look forward to. So thank you again for this award and this honor. I want to also introduce uh, Yang Xiang Ju. He works for Shell. He, he's been active in the SPWLA overall in the newly created, recently created data analytics and machine learning for petrophysics um, CIF. And he's been awarded the Meritorious Service Award for his work. Yang Xiang. Yeah, thank you, Seth. And thank you, SPWA, for this uh, great, uh, nice award. Yeah, it's a great honor to accept this award. And I want to thank SPWA for giving me this uh, honor and also thank Chichen for the nomination and the work we have uh, completed together. And I also want to thank my family for the continuous support in my career and uh, in my life. I still remember the first time uh, when I attended a SPW event. It was back in 2014 when I had my internship at Baker Hughes and I attended the Resolutivity SIG meeting. And from there, I know too many, many professionals that later becomes my friend and helped me a lot through my career. Now actively participated uh, in various SPW events, including serving the, uh, serving the Resolutivity uh, SIG as the secretary and this kind of meeting has become a party for me to meet new friends and chat with old friends. Uh, with the growing opportunity in machine learning applications in the oil and gas industry, the, the machine learning com community has grown so fast uh, the last couple of years. And I've served as the uh, vice chair for PADA two years ago and launched the uh, machine learning uh, competition last year. That competition has attracted uh, many talents and uh, professionals from globally and uh, contributed their uh, techniques and uh, uh, their, their, their techniques in their synthetic wind lock generation. And this morning I've just received good news that our summary paper uh, of that competition has been accepted and will be published in the Journal of Petrophysics. So hope you all can check later and benefit from this. In summary, I personally you know, benefited a lot from the SPWA uh, community both for the work and for my personal growth. And I strongly uh, recommend all the young professionals and the students to join and serve, and serve the community, keep this momentum going and also contribute more to our uh, greater on gas community. 
Finally, hope the life can be back to normal again and we can party together with the new and old friends. Thank you. Thank you. Um, now we move to the Meritorious Technical Achievement Award. Um, I, the, well, the first person here is Dr. Ping Jun Wu from ExxonMobil. Happy to see him here. Uh, Ping Ju is an specialist in nuclear petrophysics, nuclear logs, and he works for Exxon, I think, research. Go ahead, Ping Ju. Yeah, can, you, can you hear me? Okay, yes. cool. Awesome. Uh, thank you, Jesus. It's really a, a great honor to be here with you all, the great people here, and uh, to get nominated and eventually receive the award. So it's really a humble experience. Uh, I want to say, you know, thank you, SPWA, for all, th all the things you do, not only for the uh, pedophilic community, but also for the society in general. Uh, if I had to say really one thing about SPWA, it's really the valuable platform it provides for me to learn, grow, and share my pedophysical skills and knowledge, and, and to be able to really network with all the colleagues and, and peers throughout the years. And really along the way here, make, make you know, some of the, the lifelong friends here. So I think you all agree with me on these points here. Um, again, thinking back, I always remember, you know, again, first time attending the uh, SBWA symposium in Tulsa. Uh, I don't want to say when, but I was a graduate student majoring in nuclear physics slash engineering. And uh, you know, wasn't sure what to do with my life. So I decided to get a job in uh, oil and gas. And uh, today I end up you know, pursuing a career in the industry. And uh, looking back, it's really a very exciting and rewarding journey so far. Uh, so finally, I want, really want to say thank you again for all the volunteers and the members of the uh, society here for making it a, a great organization. Thank you. Thank you, being good. Um, Next award is for Julie Cowan from Baker Hughes. She has done a lot of contribution in the geomechanics field and petrophysical applications. Go ahead. Uh, congratulations, Julie. Thank you very much. Uh, it's a real honor to receive this award, especially alongside such a distinguished group of awardees. I wanna thank Drew Pomerantz for inviting me to be a part of the Boston chapter when he was putting together the first board almost six years ago. I've been working remotely from Massachusetts for companies in Houston since 2007. So becoming involved with the Boston chapter really gave me a sense of professional community that I was lacking before and I really enjoyed it. Um, I would also like to thank Katerina Yared, Francisco Gunawan and Jeff Page for their support as well as Paul Craddock and the rest of the Boston Organizing Committee and AV team for making this conference really pretty fun despite all of the hard work involved. So thank you all again. Thank you, congratulations. Next one is one of, um, um, I would say that is from the same uh, heritage that I am from a fellow Longhorn, uh, Dr. Chichen Shu, he's a petrophysicist for Aranco. And he has been given the well deserved Meritorious Technical Achievement Award. Go ahead, Chichen. Thank you, Jesus. Uh, can you all hear me? Yes. Sorry, I have to call in because of the technical uh, limitation on my iPad. So I may not show my uh, video because uh, I'm calling. Uh, dear friends, uh, it's my great honor to receive uh, this Meritorious Technical Award. First of all, I would like to thank Aramco to support my dedicated efforts on the focus area of petrophysics data-driven analytics with a collaborative environment where I can work with the best geoscientists, engineers, AI and machine learning experts, and data scientists. Aramco's diversified asset portfolio provides me the greatest opportunity to leverage data analytics to solve a broad spectrum of challenging problems. Secondly, I want to thank uh, Dr. Carlos Torres Verlin for his uh, meticulous mentoring and coaching during my PhD study, which laid a solid foundation for me to tackle real petrophysical sudokus. Lastly, I would like to appreciate my family's support to my work, especially during the days of business traveling. Things get tougher during COVID-19, and I hope 
we as a specialized discipline in the oil and gas industry will thrive again with the great opportunity as well as the challenge presented by the ongoing digital transformation. Thank you, my SPWA peers, again, for your recognition. Thank you. Thank you, Chichen. Congratulations. Now we move to the Distinguished Service Award. Uh, the first person is Tom Neville from Asia Pacific uh, Formation Evaluation, retired at Schlumberger. Um, I will be accepting his award on his behalf because he's not connected. It's really late. It's probably what? Two in the morning, three in the morning in, in Brisbane. And on top of that, he's been busy. But Paul has been a great contributor to SPWLA. He most recently was the VP Publications. He has been regional director of Asia Pacific a couple of times. And he has been in technical committee. So he's been a true volunteer for, for SPWLA. So well deserved. Congratulations to Tom. Uh, next uh, Distinguished Service Award is for Dr. Mark Ma. He works for Aranco. Mark has also been a professional volunteer for SPWLA overall in the, in the Middle East region. He most recently was the uh, regional director for uh, MENA uh, for the SPWLA. Congratulations, Mark. Thank you, Jesus. As they say, serving others is the best way of serving ourselves. I call on all SPWA members to volunteer our time and talent to serve our society for a better tomorrow. Please visit the society's website for volunteer opportunities. One cannot succeed without the support of others. So this award is really a recognition of my team here in Saudi Arabia, Saudi Ramco, uh, Saudi Ramco management, and my family. Firstly, I would like to thank those who nominated me, Faisal Inizi, Marie Van Stern, Hala Zin Abdin, Wael Abdullah, Luis Quintero, Nasser Gurga. Thank you very much for your trust. I'm really honored. At the same time, I would like to thank uh, Saudi Ramco and uh, the management for your support to allow me to serve. Firstly, as the uh, SPWIA Middle East Africa Regional Director, that as the Petrophysics Journal Associate Ed Editor. SPWA Saudi Chapter VP for technical events responsible for monthly learnings and biannually topical workshops and other volunteer activities. Finally, family love and support is critical for anyone's professional success and volunteer work. Thanks to my kids, Lisa and Jeff, especially my wife, June, for her patience and encouragement in the last three decades and going. Thank you, the World Committee, and thank you all, and wish you have a pleasant learning for the remaining of the symposium. Thank you. Congratulations, Mark. Thank you. Thank you. The next distinguished service is for Michelle Craveri. He's retired from Schlumberg and a professor at Imperial College. Michelle has been volunteering for SPWA for probably over 33 decades, and most recently he was a uh, VP publication. So, Michelle, let's start. Uh, thank you, thank you. As you can see from my uh, photo, I am a stern character, so I don't want to waste uh, this time. Uh, and I just want to uh, give a little lecture uh, on the. Uh, uh, go back, please. On the uh, uh, me my memories are about the spula or the the spaula or the SP Welle, as it is known around the world. Next. Thanks. So the uh, SPWLA really is another way to travel the world in, in the seven seas. Although sometimes the travel uh, just in, involves being in a, uh, in a plane uh, and uh, uh, staying for a few days in a dark room. Uh, however, sometimes we get lucky and uh, we get to enjoy either some uh, urban uh, landscapes or otherwise some uh, nature. Uh, next. Thank you. Yep, next. <laughs> so uh, in uh, April 2011, uh, one back, uh, Jesus. One back. Hello, hello. <laughs> 
in uh, uh, April 2011, uh, I was uh, kind of uh, invited or maybe conned into uh, becoming the editor uh, for uh, uh, SPW Electrophysics. It turned out to be an enjoyable uh, two and a half years, but really uh, it was quite tough. Uh, however, I started with a, a bang uh, teaching people uh, about the pronunciation, the proper pronunciation in French of the Fontainebleau uh, rock. Uh, and uh, you can see here, uh, you can go back to that issue. Uh, you should not say Fontainebleau, Fontainebleau, uh, but you should say Fontainebleau. Uh, when it uh, uh, came towards the end of uh, my tenure, uh, I was, uh, next uh, please. Uh, I was lucky to uh, be, if you like, working for uh, a visionary president. I think that uh, Roland uh, Chemali uh, was uh, very wise. Uh, and uh, he is the one who allowed uh, the board to hire uh, a managing editor uh, in the person of uh, Steve Prensky, who was uh, really uh, invaluable uh, collaborator. And uh, thanks to uh, Stephen uh, collaboration, we finally managed uh, toward the end of my tenure to put together some issues uh, with the team. Uh, with uh, belonging to the uh, inner circle of the uh, board of director, I also worked on extremely important uh, uh, tasks, uh, such as designing the next logo for the SPWLA. Uh, and uh, this fantastic work that we did, uh, unfortunately, uh, never uh, got to fruition because for some reason, uh, effort uh, uh, were for, for nothing. And uh, I can see that we are still using the old logo. Anyway, that doesn't matter. Uh, I would like then to uh, finish with a small uh, anecdote about uh, people very dear to me. Uh, when I first attended a... Um, SPWLA Symposium, that was in 1997 uh, in Houston, and uh, uh, go back please, uh, uh, and uh, the, the paper uh, in question was uh, given by uh, Philippe Tace uh, in those days uh, with uh, Schromberger and Adril, and during the Q&A session uh, there was a uh, kind of a heated argument uh, with a member of the audience, uh, none other than uh, Alan Gilchrist. Uh, famously uh, nuclear scientist himself uh, of uh, Baker Hughes. Uh, so Alan was not happy with some of the uh, results and uh, he let it be known to uh, Philip. And Phil, uh, Philip, in his uh, very Gallic uh, fashion, said, well, the laws of physics are the same for everyone. Uh, to which, uh, tit for tat, uh, Alan replied, well, they are more complex for some people. Uh, and that uh, uh, stayed in my mind for many years. And I was happy, though, to see that uh, about, uh, well, 19 years later, uh, Philip and uh, Alan had uh, made up, uh, having been, uh, both of them, uh, presidents of the society. Uh, they had gone over the differences, whether they, they were technical or competitive uh, difficulties, and they were uh, friends again. And for me, that is the, the message of the SPWLA, is that uh, it's a place where Yes, competition is alive uh, between service suppliers, between uh, academicians, uh, maybe academics, and possibly also the operators. But in the end, uh, it's a great place uh, to collaborate and to make friends. Thank you. Thank you, Michel. Um, apologies for that back and forth with the slides. It's last minute <laughs> that happened when you get the slides 30 minutes before. Um, well, now we move to one of the biggest awards of the society, which is Distinguished Technical Achievement Awards. I'm really happy to see like another sister, uh, uh, SPWA sister, and uh, UT Austin sister, um, Professor Soya Idari. Um, she, she doesn't need any introduction, so I let her talk. Thank you, Jesus. Uh, can you hear me? Yes. Wonderful. Uh, hello, everyone. I am very grateful and honored to be among the recipients of the SPWLA Distinguished Technical Achievement Award. 
Many thanks to the awards committee and to my supportive research collaborators and members of SPWLA who nominated me for this award. I cannot find words to express my feelings of gratitude to all the individuals who helped me in every step of my career information evaluation. I would like to start with acknowledging the person who is the reason I'm currently working in this amazing field of formation evaluation, Professor Carlos Torres Verde. He significantly influenced my education journey and life when he first accepted me in his research group as a PhD student. I'm grateful for the top-notch mentorship and support he has offered me since then. I also feel extremely fortunate uh, for having the opportunity of knowing and working with many fabulous role models like Taima Ramirez, Tui Rock, and Professor Christine Economides. In addition to be a strong role model, Timer has been a mentor who has always encouraged me to excel as a researcher, to take career risks, and to pursue my dreams. Tui was my first supervisor and mentor during my first internship in the petroleum industry. I learned a lot from her. Christine showed me how to survive and to shine in academia. I have been extremely lucky for having great mentors and research collaborators who helped me to flourish in the field of formation evaluation. It has always been important for me to make sure that the technical developments from my team can contribute to the success of our industry. Achieving this goal is not possible without having wonderful mentors and collaborators from the industry. I sincerely acknowledge and the research collaborations I have had and the constructive feedback and support I have received from individuals like Jesus Salazar, Kent Newsham, Dan Gorgi, Oliver Mullins, Olivier Lopez, Herman Melotti, and many others. I have had the pleasure of receiving support through my career uh, from many more amazing individuals and the limited time uh, I have today doesn't allow me to name all of them. I also sincerely thank all the sponsors of my research team who made this accomplishment possible uh, by supporting my team's research through my research consortium since 2012 and also other research projects. Most importantly, I owe this achievement to my wonderful students and research staff. I have been extremely fortunate for having the opportunity of working with many talented students at UT Austin and Texas A&M universities. Team, this award belongs to all of us. Finally, I would like to thank my parents who taught me to strive and persist to achieve my goals. And also my husband, Payman, and our son, Artin, for their patience, love, and support, especially during the uphill battles of my career. Thank you, SPWLA, for this recognition and for supporting my career information evaluation uh, from the very first steps in this field. I Wish you all health and happiness, and I hope to see you all in person sometime soon. Thank you. Thank you, and congratulations, Soya. Who can hear? Thank you. Next, uh, Distinguished Technical Achievement Award belongs to Kang Chang Kao Ming, a Schlumberger. I hope I got it, the pronunciation right. Um, uh, he's done numerous research uh, through probably a 40 year career and he's now retired. Uh, go ahead, uh, and Carl. And Jesus, hello everyone. First, I would like to thank the SPWRA for the award. It is clear to me that my contribution would not be possible without the support of my company, Schlumberger, and especially of the many collaboration from many colleagues in the industry. I was also very fortunate to have good mentors and, and to meet great technical minds in my career. That does shape your thinking. For that, I'm grateful. The annual symposium is the great opportunity to connect with people and to learn new knowledge. I wish you all a very successful conference. Thank you and stay safe. Thank you, Chankao. Thank you for all your contribution.
love the triaxial resistivity and NMR integration. <laughs> Thank you. Next, our D in technical achievement is Dr. Lalita Venkataramana. It's a challenge for me to say the whole thing correct. She is an outstanding researcher at the Schlumberger Dole in Cambridge, Massachusetts. And without much ado, uh, congratulations, Lalita. Your mute, Lalita. We can't hear you, Lalita. Can anyone hear Lalita? No, he sees mute. We cannot hear Lalita. Lalita, we still cannot hear you. Okay, uh, Lalita Ben Kataraman, Ben Kataraman, and she's very happy to receive the Distinguished Technical Achievement Award. She's a specialist on NMR. And she's also now in the area of data analytics. She has been mentor of a bunch of people here in, in the petrophysics community. And she has done a lot of contribution as a distinguished speaker, presenting in conference committees, etc. So I apologize for the hiccup, Lalita. Um, thank you for your contribution. Congratulations. Well, this is it uh, regarding the awards and now we are about to close with the annual president award uh, that is given to the outgoing president so uh, jim um, uh, katerina if you want to say something <clears throat> jim, you're welcome to say it or jim just can go and say a few words congratulations and thank you for your contribution jim uh, thank you, Jesus. Uh, yeah, it's been uh, some interesting times here. I'd certainly like to thank Michael O'Keefe for uh, getting things organized for the symposium in Canada last year. I think he had about three months notice uh, after the border was closed. Uh, Tegwin, likewise, has done a fantastic job. I'm surely convinced that organizing an online symposium is a lot more work than doing something in person. I'd like to, I think the Boston committee deserves a lot of credit. They put uh, this symposium together and, and done a very good job with it. And what I'd really like to thank is the SPWLA in general. Uh, I started, I hired on the Slumberger in 1979, been a member of the SPWLA since 1981. So a little over 40 years. And I would say the majority of what I've learned about petrophysics I've picked up at SPWLA meetings, from SPWLA journals, and from interacting with all of the other people in the SPWLA. Uh, not to say that I didn't pick up a little bit of information from my own company, but the SPWLA was 90% of it. I uh, picked up an awful lot. And finally, uh, I was very pleased to see in this symposium some of my pet projects, uh, Pulse Neutron and at least two sessions on uh, case tool formation evaluation, getting a lot of attention. I think that's an area that we need to be expanding into. Uh, something that uh, Bob Friedman wrote about 10 years ago in uh, Petrophysics uh, related to the way we keep developing resistivity-based techniques for uh, Archie-type interpretations. We keep getting or coming up with better and better techniques, but it's time to move outside the box and start looking at alternative methods of making completion decisions and calculating water saturation and getting away from, uh, or not necessarily getting away from what Archie proposed in the 1930s, but expanding out and looking at a lot of other alternatives. And I'm really happy looking at the uh, papers we're seeing now and seeing that uh, we are moving in that direction. So uh, I'd like to thank everyone and, uh, I hope to see everybody in person in Stavanger next year. It, a lot nicer than uh, looking at a computer screen. Thank you, Jim. Congratulations for a great achievement. And don't mess with Archie. Archie works amazingly still. <laughs> yeah. <laughs>
there are places where Archie's the best dancer. I've uh, convinced of that. So, and uh, the society's in great hands with Katarina. Yes, and so to close, I hope to see everyone in person in Estavanger next year. I, I took these pictures myself right after the London symposium that I went on a business trip. So those are the things we are really missing now, you know, those nice overseas trips. And it's a beautiful city. So hope to see you there. And one, one announcement is that the Houston chapter is organizing a happy hour tomorrow in McCormie and Schmidt in Uptown. So find the link. You got an email, so I hope to see to see some of the some of you there, and I encourage you to wear a mask if you're not vaccinated, please. So there's also great hikes in in around the Stavanger. So this is a great one. I don't remember. This has a very Norwegian name, but it's a, it's a place that you will go if you go to Estavanger. So hope to see you there. And fun fact, the Mission Impossible last movie was uh, filmed here. So keep that in mind. So appetizer for Estavanger. So thank you very much for being here. It's been a pleasure to be your uh, VP Technology President, Elect President, and Past President. So now for me, it's the foundation and keep hanging out. Thank you. Bye. Yeah, thank, thank you. you. Congratulations to everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks Bye. a lot, everybody. Bye. Congratulations. Thank you, thank you so much. Thank you. Congratulations, everyone. Congratulations. Yeah, the yeah. session's in two yeah. minutes. We have to, yeah, we have to move to the next session in five